In this video, we're going to be leveling up our video production using motion graphics in Premiere Pro. Welcome back to the channel. My name is TJam and in today's video, like I mentioned, we're going to be using some motion graphics templates to level up our YouTube video production. And the templates that we're going to be using today are part of a larger pack that we got from Envato Elements and Envato Elements is the sponsor of this video, but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on. Now, this pack that we're going to be pulling from to level up our YouTube video is like a gold mine. It has YouTube intros, YouTube end screens, social media pop-ups and call to actions and so much more. And I'll put a link in this video's description as to where you can download this exact pack from Envato Elements. So without any further delays, let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro and we're just gonna go ahead and click new project as usual. And then I'm just gonna name my project LSPV 083 um, motion graphics, right? Because that's, we're gonna be, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click okay. And the first thing you'll notice is that my workspace is a little bit different. That's because I'm in the graphics workspace, right? If you look up here, you can see I have a host of options and I just clicked graphics because that's the workspace you want to be in when you're creating motion graphics in Premiere Pro, right? And motion graphics are exactly what the name says. You know, you have graphics that can pop up on the screen, like you can write your name in Photoshop and your title. Motion graphics are, you're making those graphics, that graphic move, you're adding motion to it. So that's all it is, right? It's not much more complicated than that. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm just gonna go ahead and come down to my project bin here, right click and create a new sequence. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm under digital SLR 1080p and I want a 30 frames per second um, timeline. Let's name it LSPV 083 motion graphics tutorial, right? That's what we want. And then we're just gonna go ahead and click OK and I'm gonna close this. And the first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in a clip that I want to work with today because you know you need some kind of video to put your motion graphics onto, right? just to like give a more practical approach to your effect so let's just go well to my effect so let's go ahead and drag in my video and i have it right here i'm just gonna drag in my video that's a short clip right and i'm just gonna drag it to my timeline right uh, i'm just gonna keep existing settings and this clip is larger than the sequence that i'm working in i'm working in a 1080p hd um, sequence because that's what we chose earlier but this clip is a 4k clip that's four times bigger than the sequence that i'm working in so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and right click on it and click set to frame size and you can see it just sized it down for me right quick and easy not a lot to think about so let's just go ahead and drag in our motion graphics or the motion graphics that i want to show you guys today so you'll notice over here in my graphics window that i have this essential graphics tab right and that's where you'll find all the motion graphics that you've got after you've installed them but if you haven't installed them and you're not sure or you're not sure how to install them all you have to do is locate them from the folder that you have them in on your PC or Mac and just drag in the motion graphics files that you have here. I believe the extension for motion graphics files it's are dot .mogrt. I believe you just select those and just drag those in and that's how I installed mine, right? And the one I want to use today, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the subscribe one here and I have it here, right? Remember, all you have to do is just drag it in from your folder just drag it in and it will add it for you but nothing is going to happen in my window because i already have it installed right see it says the file already exists confirm overwrite no if you for you when you're installing for the first time all you have to do is just drag it in and it will install it for you and then i'm just going to drag this onto the timeline above my footage just like that let me hit plus sign to extend this to zoom in some more and let's see what happens here with it 
see that it pops up on the screen just like that right and i believe this is also a 4k resolution um motion graphic so let me just go ahead and right click on it and then set to frame size and you can see it shrank right and then you'll notice when you download it from Envato Elements, it will tell you the cool thing about Envato Elements is it tells you the resolution of the files that you're downloading or the, the, the assets that you're downloading. And in this case, we downloaded the YouTuber motion graphics pack, right? So it's a pretty cool thing about Envato Elements. And what you can do next is you'll notice that when you're when you've selected your motion graphic template right here you'll get some effects controls over here in essential graphics right and the first thing i want to do is i just want to go ahead and make this subscribe all caps i can just click on my text controls right here and i can do it again down here because there are two versions of the subscribe as you see here right let's go ahead and play this and see what happens but first let me just expand my window let's go ahead and play this and see what happens remember we made um just one of them all caps right let's see what happens see that the first one is all caps but the second one isn't so let's go ahead and just find the second one here that says text two and then let's just go ahead and hit the all caps button there see it changed right and the next thing we can do is we can just come down further and we can change the colors right and if you have your libraries open like I do, I can just go ahead and pick a color right here. I can hit the shape color. You know, I have my learn share colors right here and it will show you a preview of what your color will look like, right? And there I can just pick the orange and I can play it now and see what it will look like. See that? Uh, but I think I like the red because, you know, YouTube red. Let's go ahead and undo that by hitting Control and Z. And then let's play it again. And that's pretty straightforward. And if you look closely, you can see there are some, um, let me zoom in, sorry. If you look closely, you can see there are some sparkles, right? Some little, see those circles and plus signs right here? How cool is that? And I mean, just by using this alone, you've already added a lot more character to your YouTube video. You're standing, up, standing out from your competition just by adding this, right? And what you can do is you can go ahead and turn on your safe margins here, right here. And then you can just click motion over here on your template that you just added. Or you can adjust the position here in your essential graphics tab as well, right? See that? You can adjust your position, X and Y positions. But what I like to do, I just like to go ahead over motion sometime and just drag it all over, right? Because that's quicker for me and easier for me. And I can just drag it right there. Let's go back, turn off my safe margins, and then let's hit play. But before I hit play, let's hit Control and S to save all that we just did, right? And then let's hit space bar to play. See that? How cool is that? Already, your video is standing out. Check that out. That is so cool, right? And of course, you know, you can change the color of the white side i believe or the gray side let's go ahead and check what we can do yeah all you have to do is come down and yeah you can change the shape color right now it's a little bit gray let's go ahead and put it to full white and click ok and you can see that is already so so cool right so cool and your video is already standing out the next thing i want to show you guys is i want to show you guys how to create an end screen using this same drag and drop method right so let's go ahead and save this Control and s to save and then let's go ahead and unselect or deselect the, the the lower third the subscribe lower third and then let's go ahead and look for my end screen you see that right here i have some end screens here in this pack let me just go ahead and drag in this one oops that's not what was supposed to happen <laughs> let's just go ahead and drag this one in right and as i said these are 4k the highest quality um um assets that we're working with so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and right click and click set to frame size right now we can see what it looks like by hitting play let me control and s to save first and you can see that how cool is that so imagine your video ended right here 
when she froze, right? She's done talking. And then the end screen pops up, right? Let me bring it back some more. See that? How cool is that? So right, it would be like an ultra, or you can put this after you've, you've had your ultra on screen, then you can just add an, um, an end screen. Because I believe the pack, I think the pack comes with ultra, with an ultra as well, or more than one ultras or bumpers as they call it that you can use, right? So let's just see what it looks like. So you'd have your video, you know, your talking head, you're talking on camera like I am right now, then you have your bumper or your ultra and then you can just slap on this end screen so just add a little more vibe a little more character to your video rather than the generic stuff right and hey it gets even cooler you can go ahead and change the colors here right let me go ahead and just click my end screen template i can even turn the background off right and what that will do let me bring it over some more what that will do if I turn the background off, it will get rid of this white background. See that? And you can still see the video underneath it. And what's cool is if you want to film yourself just like doing something in character, you can just put it underneath this to act, to allow this to act like an overlay on top of your video. I think that's a pretty cool idea. And I think I want to do that for my outros as well because as it stands right now my outro is on youtube it's a white background right and i think i want to put a video of myself underneath that to just give it a little more spice a little more flavor right so let's just go ahead and see what we got here and let's go over to our essential graphics and see what we can change right if we click edit main view you see we have our background colors right here if we go ahead and click the background color two color one and color two you can go ahead and obviously you know change the colors to whatever you want just once you're changing up the colors you'll see the the the, the effects taking place if what you're changing isn't taking effect then maybe you need to change something else like i need to do right now right you can see that the yellow just came in right the second yellow and if i go ahead and change it to something else you can see that the pink just came in, right? So how cool is that? And if I want to change this strip right here, I believe this strip is color three. I'm just looking and um, assuming the colors, right? Let's change this to white. See that? So all you have to do is just look at the colors and see what it looks like on your template and just change them to your liking, right? And all I'm doing is just undoing all of what I did by hitting Control and Z. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna save this Control and S. So let's actually just go ahead and hit some of the text. Let's change some of the like the social media handles. And you can see it came with a handle here by default, but that's not what I want. So let me just go ahead and just write my own acts. I'm just showing you that you can customize this for yourself, right? And there's, there's some icons here. You can see these icons here, right? You can change those, right? So if I go ahead and just slide this slider, it will change. You see the Instagram logo is changing. See that it's changing to the, from the globe, the internet, to the email icon, to the Behance, right? You see that, to the Facebook. So you can, it's really, customizable and interactive and you can even change the color of the social icon right see that oh hold on hold on what did i just do uh, oh i know what's happening but i probably have to do just go here and change change it to red see that it's changing all the colors for you and it's just really it's so powerful in how you can customize it and just make it your own i can even change this text right here that says check out let me go ahead and just find it it's up here under text and let me just write um watch this video next or something like that right can i break the line let's break the line and see if it helps yeah it definitely helps right let's just start watch this video and then what else can i do i can change the subscribe well subscribe is fine I'm, let me just make it all caps 
and then this channel obviously that's where you put your own channel name right learn share photo video right what else do i want to change on youtube when you're sit when you're using this on youtube as your end screen because when you're editing your video this will already be in your edit right so on youtube when you're adding your end screen icons on youtube you know the 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 subscribe button and the video that you're recommending you just put them over the circle so the icon for the subscribe will go over the circle and fill the space and the video that you're recommending your users to what your subscribers to watch next will go here as well and cover this black box right and as i said you can change this to your um brand colors you can see i have all my brand colors right here for learning to your photo video let me just turn off the cursor so i can get accurate colors and then i can click the icon color and i can change it to the learn to your orange or the learn to your blue right so powerful so customizable and you can definitely make it your own right let's see what we got going on here so let me just go ahead and choose some colors here and see what i'm getting look at this this is literally the learn share orange and the learn share blue let me go ahead and change the subscribe text color to orange to the learn share or guys i can literally slap this on at the end of my youtube video what do you guys think that's all we have to do add this to your video add this to your youtube video when you're editing in whatever editor you're using and you're good to go all you have to do is save this and export it right let me just go ahead and play it and see what it looks like on top of our video let me save it all let me just hit render to render. do i want to render everything do i need to let me see no it actually plays fine look at that that is so cool and i like the motion in the subscribe you see that you see how the subscribe is moving up and down and the circle thing is going around so 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 cool and if i also wanted i could just go ahead and click on my template and i can also change the size of any of these texts right you will see that they all have something beneath them that says scale right they have it right here that says scale all i have to do is just decrease that you see and you can just adjust the positions as well right how cool is that it is so 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 customizable and you cannot beat that just a lot more character and vibe flavor and spice to let you stand out from your competition so have you ever used motion graphics before are you planning on using motion graphics based on all that we've done here today and remember this video was sponsored by Envato Elements this motion graphics pack we got from Envato Elements as well and we could not have done this video without this template right and it gets even better Envato Elements wants to give you guys 70% off a month's subscription from their website and with that monthly subscription you can download unlimited assets like motion graphics and lower thirds and all of that unlimited all you have to do is hit the first link in this video's description and grab the discount and start downloading unlimited assets thank you thank you so much for watching once again my name is tjam and i will see you guys in the next video